Hi guys, it's Mariah here and today I'm going to be talking about my cartilage piercing. So first things first is I just got mine two weeks ago and it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, it hasn't swelled and it hasn't gotten crusty. Just as long as you're taking care of it, then I think you're gonna be safe um, from infections. So <laughs> this is a simple care that I've been using. I just use it twice a day. I just spray it because they said people were lazy so they had to make something like this, which is great because, I mean, I'm lazy, so let's be friends. So yeah, use it twice a day. I heard that some people do it three times a day, but I mean, it's all up to you and your preference. And This is made for, let's say, redness and the tissue healing. Like, mine hasn't been red, so that's a plus because I don't want a big red thing on my ear. I, I just don't know what I do. Like, what noise was that? I just don't get it. And the pain tolerance is a frequently asked question. It was probably a 2 out of 10 for one second. As soon as it went in, that was the only time it hurt for me. And I get that everyone has different pain tolerances, but I think for the most part, I've heard that so many people have said, Oh, I shouldn't have been stressing over it. It was painless. I just think that you shouldn't let it stop you from getting a piercing because it was so much fun. As long as you're planning to take care of it, then go ahead and enjoy your piercing, whatever you get. If you're going to get the tragus or so on, whatever you want to get, just know that you're in for a lot of cleaning and yeah. So my experience as a 14 year old, some may say that I'm too young. They actually have a policy where you have to be 14 in order to get a piercing. So I thought that was actually kind of neat. If your parents are up to it and you guys have talked about it, I had to wait a year for it to see if I wanted it after a year. So I've been wanting it for a while. I actually knew a girl from soccer who had gotten it. And then I was like, hey, that'd be really cool to look into. And then I looked into it. And then Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato and some other actresses got it. And I was like, damn, I need a cartilage piercing. Let's call you up. But this is actually called the helix piercing. I don't know, if you guys want a few photos, then I'll put them in the description box below so you can show your parents what you want. Helix piercing. The earring was a rose gold heart, which here I'll show you guys. So yeah, that was that and it was honestly, I, I love it so much. Um, it has this large backing, I can't really show you guys. It actually has like the backings like this long. It's because in case your ear is going to get big, it needs to be big enough so if your ear gets inflamed then, then you're good. Um, so yeah, I may make another video on how to convince your parents to get a cartilage piercing because it definitely took my parents a lot of convincing, but it wasn't like tricking in a sense. Like, I mean, it was logical reasons why. Um, I'll put a photo of how it looks after, like this clip. So like and subscribe and comment if you guys want more videos. And honestly, it would mean a lot to me if you guys could help me choose videos on what I should do. I'm actually at 40 subscribers right now and that's amazing for me because I'm just jumping off right now. I keep saying right now. Thanks for watching whoever you are, wherever you are, how old you are, doesn't matter. Um, keep watching more videos. Love you guys. Bye. Stay fierce.